Many students ask how to turn on virtual memory in Windows 7, and here are the steps to do that. First, click your home button within Windows at the bottom left corner. Then, right-click Computer and select Properties from the context menu. When this window appears, select Advanced System Settings, and then from here, select under Performance the button for Settings. And finally, click Advanced. Now we're finally at the window where we can manage our virtual memory. And if you look at the bottom middle of the dialog box that appears, we have the information for virtual memory. And so here we have a paging file, which is an area of the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. Total virtual memory or paging file size for all drives is approximately 8 gigabytes. I'm going to take a look at my settings by clicking Change, and then examining the settings that I have shown here on this dialog box for virtual memory. Now, notice on the top left corner, I've checked the box to automatically manage paging file size for all drives. I'm going to clear that checkbox, and notice how all of the other information opens up, allowing me to make changes if I want to. I'm not recommending that you make changes if you had your virtual memory set to automatically manage and then system manage size as we see here. So I would leave that alone and not make a change. Some people like to change to custom size and set the initial size to one and a half times the physical RAM installed and perhaps the maximum size to two times the RAM installed. I don't recommend making that change. It's best to let Windows manage its virtual memory. If you do make a change, if we change this to a custom size for 5,000 megabytes or 5 gigabytes in my case, if I make this change and click OK, in essence nothing will have happened. After making a change to your size or any of the information here, the next thing that you need to do is click Set and then click OK to accept the changes. I'm just going to clear this information because I don't want to make any changes to my virtual memory and take myself back to the desktop. Hopefully this walked you through the process to set up virtual memory on your system. All Windows operating systems should be set to system managed size.